Yes, you have understood details with respect to the curriculum related to the certification exam and also the resources. Now it is time for us to understand the exam details. The exam is uh, uh, based on multiple choice questions. You can see here the exam consists of 60 multiple choice questions. You will be having 120 minutes to complete the exam. Also keep in mind that you just have to choose one option with respect to each and every question. There will be no questions at this time where there might be multiple answers for a given question. When it comes to passing score, it is nothing but 70%, which means out of 60, you have to get 42 right. You can see the details here. The exam will be conducted via an online proctor. You should know how to take uh, online proctored exams. Make sure you sign up for the exam. Uh, one day before, go through the uh, details with respect to exam. Make sure you are prepared to take the exam. You will get the information as part of the email once you sign up for the exam. Make sure the system is ready as per the expectations to take this online exam instead of waiting till the last minute. Once you sign up for the exam, make sure you go to the email and complete the prerequisites for your system to take the exam. Also, while taking the exam, you will be getting the documentation based on the programming language you have chosen to take the exam. Also, you will be provided with a digital notepad for taking notes and writing example code. However, I don't think it is necessary for you to use this, but uh, it will be useful if you actually go through the details with respect to uh, the documentation that will be provided to you. Make sure you spend some time uh, to be comfortable with respect to accessing the documentation at the time of taking the exam. Uh, I will cover those details towards the end of the course. I will make sure that you are comfortable to go through the documentation while taking the exam. You should be able to get other exam details by going to this certification FAQ link. That being said, the exam is provided here. Documentation is provided here. I will actually cover a section where you will be using the documentation that is provided here to take the exam that is provided here. That way you will be comfortable to give the exam while accessing the documentation effectively.